Now to fully appreciate this particular question, I think it's essential that you draw a sketch and try and draw a sketch to a reasonable scale. So we're given the origin here and we're told that at time t equals naught the particle is at a point a with position vector 7i minus 10j. I've marked it in as a coordinate 7 across 10 units down. We know that the particle moves with a velocity of minus 5i plus 8j so I've marked my arrow in signifying that vector 5 across this way 8 units up. So we know that in every second the particle will move in this direction and will only cover this amount of distance. So let's mark in the path that it's going to follow and that path will be something like this. Now where's it going to be after three seconds? Well we can take the particle and we can see that after one second it's here, after two seconds it will now be here and after three seconds it will be here. So let's just mark that point in first of all that at this point t equals 3. Now what happens after t equals 3? It alters course. It alters course and it's got a new vector, a vector we're told which is ui plus vj which I've marked in here, ui plus vj. Let's just move this green arrow back out the way. So we'll just move that out the way, put it back down there, okay? So t equals 3, it's here. And what happens next? Well, we're told that it carries on moving in this direction and four seconds later it passes through O. So the, the second stage of the journey is going to be a path something like this, coming down through here, through O, and carrying on. So let's just mark in that we know that four seconds later, if we imagine that it started from here now, four seconds later it's back at O. Let's just mark that point in, that when T equals four, the particle is here. I say t is 4, technically it's 7 seconds from when it started. 3 to here and then a further 4 seconds from here to here it was back at the origin. Now what I'm going to need to do to get u and v is I've got to find out first of all where this point is. So we're going to start off by saying after 3 seconds where is this point? Well to do that what I'm going to need to do is go to the from the origin, go to my starting position, this vector here, and then I'm going to need to go or add three lots of this vector to the vector 7 minus 10, 7i minus 10j that is. So to get this point here, I'm going to need to say that r equals to the initial point 7i minus 10j, then plus three lots of this vector minus 5 plus 8j, three lots of minus 5i plus 8j. Now I can clean this up by grouping together the i components and the j components. So what we have is 7 minus 15i, so that's minus 8i. And we've got minus 10j plus 24j, so that's going to be 14j. So that's telling us this particular position from the origin to this point here. Let's just mark in those coordinates. They're going to be minus 8 across, 14 up from the origin here. Now that I've got that, what I need to do is find out where this is going to be after 4 seconds, just in general. 
Now after four seconds, let's just say after a further four seconds, its position vector will be, well it's starting from here and then every unit of time, every second, it's going to move this amount. So after one second it's going to be here, two seconds here, three seconds there, four seconds it's going to be back at the origin. So after four seconds its position vector will be up to the start minus 8i plus 14j and then plus followed by four lots of this vector here ui plus vj and we know where that will be after four seconds we're told it's back at the origin so this equals naught i plus naught j now if I group together the i components here you'll see that what I've got is 4u minus 8 in the i direction and as for the j components I've got 14 plus 4v so we'll put that in as 14 plus 4v in the j direction and we can see that equals naught i plus naught j now if we have one vector equals another vector then the components must be the same so if we equate or compare the i components what we have is that 4u minus 8 must equal the 0 here and I can solve this for u by adding 8 to both sides we get that 4u equals 8 and dividing both sides by 4 leaves me with u equals 2 and I can do exactly the same for the j components so if I equate the j components what we have is 14 plus 4v equals the 0 here and by subtracting 14 from both sides we have 4v equals minus 14 divide by 4 and you have that v equals minus 3.5 so you have the two values for u u is 2 and v is minus 3.5 and, and if you look back at the sketch that we've got here hopefully you can see that this looks quite sensible that we've got u as two units so that's two units to the right and v is minus three and a half three and a half units down and if I take this vector we can see that we started here one second later it was here two seconds there three to there and four back at the origin okay well I hope that gives you some idea on this kind of question I would always as I say recommend drawing a sketch to be able to try and appreciate what's going on well that brings us to the end of this part of the question then